So in the last video, we have seen how can you work with two different branches, right? So if you remember, in, uh, we had two branches. One is master and we had could have. Now we can have some more branches if you, if you think that you have multiple developers and they want to work on separate branch, you can do that. But what if you have someone who is not in your team, but he want to contribute? No, normally what happens is when you work on open source project, there are people who want to contribute in your project. Now in this, what we will do is if I go back to code and you can see we have two files, right? In a master branch, we have readme file and we have recipes. Now let me create one more file here, but then I don't know how to do that stuff. And we have someone in the open source community who want to contribute. So let's say that person is me. So I will open my repository here. So this is my personal repository, uh, Navin ready to zero. And if I want to contribute, how will I do that? So what I want to do is, I, in this project, in this, uh, in this uh, repository, I want to create another file called as pizza.txt. So I want to define how to make pizza, or how I want, to, I want to create a recipe for pizza. I love pizza, by the way. Okay, so how do I contribute? So what I will do is, I will go to Telesco training. In fact, uh, there are two ways. One, you can search for that. You can search for Telesco training slash uh, the project name, which is in this case, let me just search, check the project name. It is uh, task. So the is called training slash task. This is one way, or uh, you can get the link from the from the creator. So once you get this link, this is the project. I want to contribute here. So what I will do is, if I want to contribute, I cannot change this file, right? I cannot create a new file here. We uh, we, do, we do have a choice. Can you see that? Uh, so if if you click on this create new file. Uh, let's see what happens. So if I click on this create new file, you can see it is giving you the option, but see the message here. It says you are creating a new, create, you're creating a file in a project. You don't have a right access to it, unfortunately, uh, that, that's not here. But then can you see that we have created a fork of this project. So normally what happens is whenever you try to edit the file, it will fork a project in your repository. So this is how you can do it. The another way is you can click on this fork and it will give you the project. I will go back here and I will enter the file name. I will say the file name is pizza.txt. Now I will write the recipe. So I will say recipe created by recipe from Naveen Reddy. And I'm a very good cook. So what I do, if I want to make a pizza, I will say uh, there are some steps to do it. So first, uh, step one, uh, go to uh, dominos.com and step two select the pizza and order that's it <laughs> so this is how i make pizza okay so i don't make pizza i buy it from uh, some some uh, pizza parlor okay so once i have done with this i will say created pizza dot txt that's my message i will say propose this file or pro or the propose new file now this is the file which I have created, right? So I will click on this propose new file and it should create a file. But then question arises, where it will create a file? As you can see, if I go to my branch, I will see that file there. But where the file is created? And the file name is pizza.txt, you have added this number of lines. And I will say create a pull request. So once you click on this create pull request, it says, okay, what is the message you want to say? And you can see it says able to merge the branches uh, can be automatically merged. That's awesome, you know. And I will say create pull request. Now the request is sent to who? It has sent to Telesco training. Oh, that's great. The request is sent automatically. We are not doing anything. And the branch is patch one. Is it the branch? Maybe. So if I go down, it says there's no conflict and you can click on commit. Okay, anything left here, everything seems good. You have added nine lines, but there is no deletion of the line. If I go to code and if I see, oh, okay. Is it my project? Let me just go to my repositories. Okay, this is my, if I click on repositories, now this is the repository which I have created called a task one. If I click on that, uh, there should be a file called as pizza, or uh, not here. This is my master branch. Uh, it is there in patch one. Okay, can you see that it is? Uh, we have pizza dot one. So this patch one is my uh, repository name. I uh, this this is my branch name. Uh, we have missed this step somewhere in between. So you can see we got pizza dot txt and we got a pizza recipe here. 
So it is there with me, right? It is there in my repository. What about the Risco training, which is the original repository? If I refresh, of course it is not there in the master. Can you see that it is not there? And we don't even have patch one here because patch one is only for nominity account. How would I get those changes here? It's very easy actually. You can simply click on this pull request. Can you see that from there, from my account, from my personal account, I'm sending a pull request to this particular account. And it says credit pizza txt. Now as a Telisco, tra a Telisco training owner, I will check, okay, so this guy called as Navin Reddy has sent a new request. And in that request, uh, let me just check what other things we have. It says created pizza, but I want to verify what is that. So if I open that, it says the recipe is uh, from Navin Reddy and this is the recipe. Uh, that sounds good. Again, this actually doesn't sound good because I'm not making a pizza here. I'm ordering pizza, but for this thing, it's okay, you know. So I will, I will, I will see the recipe and everything seems good. I will click on merge pull request. If everything goes good, then only I will say merge pull request. If I think you know the, the code which is sent from the from the person or the contributor is not suitable for this project, I will send him some feedback. I will say, okay, we are, uh, the, the work which you have done is awesome, but then if you can change uh, method number, uh, you, if you can change two methods there, uh, it will be good. So that's how you can send back your response. Otherwise, if everything is good, you can say confirm merge. It should happen and nothing okay it is done i guess it is done go back to our code and can you see that we got pizza.txt now this pizza.txt is not created by you it is created by one of the contributor right and you can see that the contributor is now ready to zero uh, that's great and you got your offer you got your pizza there so this is how someone else can contribute in your project and you can see we got also got a notification here so fork one that means one of the contributor has forked your project now what you can do is, you can have your own GitHub account, search for Telisco Tusk, I mean Telisco Training Tusk, this one, you will find this link in the description area, I will, I will make sure that you have that link. Create a, for, uh, create a request, create new files, and send a pull request to me. So if I think your recipe is good, I will accept the request, <laughs> otherwise I will, I will reject your uh, pull request. So let's see how many things, uh, how many requests I get in, in next two days. So that's it. That's how you anyone else can contribute in your project. That's how we can use fork. And uh, so that's it from this video, guys. I hope you're enjoying these sessions. Let me know in, your, in the comment section and do click on the like button. Thank you so much for watching.